Good evening and welcome to the community construction meeting for the Central Meadowbrook and Hanley area water and wastewater improvement project. Uh, if you have questions, please post them in the chat. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you can see the chat bubble. Um, the chat, uh, we will answer those chat questions following the presentation. If you're a call in user and cannot use the chat feature, we'll unmute you one by one after we respond to the chat questions so you can ask your question. This meeting is recorded. A uh, link to the video will be posted to the city website project page uh, probably by November 24th. If you are a board member of the Central Meadowbrook, Handley, Neighborhoods of East Fort Worth and East Fort Worth Neighbors Coalition, I'll e email the video link and the meeting summary to you to share with your members and neighbors. And now I'm gonna pass this on to our senior professional engineer, Walter Norwood, who's the project manager. Walter. Thank you. Uh, my name's Walter Norwood, as, as they said, and uh, this is the sanitary sewer rehab project for the Central Meadowbrook and Hanley area. We're, we're going to go over the introductions and the project overview, project area, explain why we're doing this project. And we'll explain for you what you can expect. Um, Sally, are you going to do the introductions? No, go ahead. Hello. Okay, so I'm, I'm Walter Norwood, the project manager. The inspector for this project is going to be Matthew Wilson. The contractor is Circle C Construction Company, and the design consultant is Hazen. We have representatives for Matthew here. This project includes sewer main replacement and one water main in in uh, Tierney Street. The project is in Council District 5 and Council District 8. The residents in Central Meadowbrook, Hanley neighborhoods, and East Fort Worth will be impacted. This map shows uh, Tierney Road from Meadowbrook Drive to Lancaster and one of the sewer lines between Morris and Meadowbrook Drive. It also shows a sewer line on the south side of Lancaster from Tierney going to the east. These are additional sewer lines that are going to be replaced with this project. They include the, the easement area between San Jose and Weiler, an easement between Jewel and Hightower, an easement between Veneta and Beatty Street, an easement between Beatty and East Lancaster, and a line segment in Beatty Street between Grandview and Weiler. On the other side of Loop 820, we're replacing a sewer line that's under the, the Encore Towers between Lancaster and Rosedale Street. There's also a segment in an easement between Forest and Hanley Drive. These lines were constructed in the 1940s and for the most part and are being replaced due to their condition. Fort Worth prioritized these lines based on uh, data we took by closed circuit TV and other 
information gathered over the years. Your water shouldn't be turned off with this project. Uh, there may be some some uh, short term uh, impacts in along Tierney. The rest of the project is all sewer line. Uh, on Tierney, we'll in install a temporary water line to keep everybody in service while we're replacing the water line. Your sewer service will not be interrupted during the project. There may be times when we are crossing driveways on Tierney Road where the, the your driveway may be brought, blocked for short periods, but for the most part, we'll allow access in and out of everybody's driveway. This is an asphalt street, not concrete, so there, once, once we come in and, and replace the asphalt, you'll be able to drive on it that night. If, if an alley has pavement in it now, we'll replace the pavement with similar type of pavement. If it doesn't, we will put in grass. We, we call a lot of these areas alleys, but they're really easements in your backyards. So the grass and fences will be restored. The contractor will coordinate with everybody as they're entering your yards and work with you for pets and other issues you may have. If, if there is property that's damaged, as I said, we'll repair it. You can contact me or the inspector. My number's shown here, 392-5026, or Matthew Wilson, 392-8306. And as I said, in most cases, we're in, in people's yards. This, this is where the sewers were built originally. And that's why we have to go back and replace them in the same place. Very difficult to move them. This contract was awarded to Circle C Construction and they, they anticipate starting on November 30th. When they, when they get close to your house, you'll get door hangers to notify you that they're going to be working close by. All of their employees will have uh, identifying information on their clothing or vest. And again, here's my contact information and the inspectors. There's a website where you can get information about this project if you if anything happens when when we're not around you can call this number 24 hours 392-4477 and report any type of a, a leak or an overflow you can also call the call center 392 well that's the same number anyway Um, I'm open to questions now. This is Cindy Bolin. I live on Norma. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Tierney is at the end of the street, and I see Janet Kennedy's on, on this meeting, too. She lives closer. I believe they ha has work already begun on Tierney? Between Lancaster and, and Meadowbrook? No, it has not. Not oh, that's okay. not us. Okay. All right. When do you expect to start? On Tierney? Yes. Uh let me let me bring in the the contractor. I'd have to open up the schedule and look at it and he may be able to tell you. We're gonna start on Tierney first. So okay. we'll be there on the thirtieth of um November. 
Wonderful. Okay. That's yeah. is that because I'm the only one asking a question? No, I had already decided with the schedule that we'd be on journey as well. So yeah. We're gonna do both these lines that's actually shown in this project area right here. Um, the one that is on tyranny, the water and sewer, and that way we can start with the paving to follow right away and get that street cleaned up and put back into shape. And then we'll jump across Lancaster and continue um, with the sewer work there. And with regard to paving, are you just going to ask, is the black is asphalt, right? Or are you going to repave with concrete? We'll be repaving with asphalt. Okay, which doesn't last as long, right? Correct. So we'll have problems with that road because it's not going to be repaved in the condition that you're tearing it up. We're going to do a pulverization overlay, which means that we're going to take all the, uh, the the surface millings and mill it up, and then we're going to mix cementous material in with the dirt to stabilize it, and then put a new fresh top of asphalt on it. And so the the base will be restabilized, and the top will be new. So, but you're not tearing up the entire street, right? Yes, we're going curb to curb. Oh, geez. Well, why can't you replace it with the quality that's going to last 20 years instead of something that we're going to have potholes in five? Well, uh, let me jump in. Please. This is Walter again. We, we, we're replacing it with asphalt, but that also allows us to do periodic maintenance on it, like overlays and that type of thing. With concrete, we don't have that ability. I know it, it's that's a heavily traveled road. A lot of people use it, and we're just going to have problems. We're going to have continual problems with that, and that road is now going to be on the agenda in the bond package that we've been working on with Gina Bivens about what streets to be, need to be repaired, and that street's going to end up being on that that list because of not replacing it with what it already has. Well, let, me, let me do this. Let me do this. I will. Uh, I'll contact her office. I didn't realize that it was going to be included in a bond package. But well, we no. Uh, you we're working on. We're working on the project of what streets need to be repaved. Okay, and so we've given her a long list in our area of the streets that need to be repaved. And my anticipation is, if you're going to not repave it with concrete, a sturdy road then eventually tyranny is going to be on that list of, that needs to be fixed every five years. Am I just out of left field and not understanding the paving business? Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me confer with my supervisor. We have some questions coming up in chat, so we will address those as soon as Walter responds to this one. I'm sorry to make you wait. Um, First. Uh, we, we have to replace the water and sewer lines, so we're, rather than just patching the road, we're gonna, going to replace the asphalt curb to curb. Um, I haven't been told that it was part of a CIP job or, or going to be part of a CIP job. So all I can tell you right now is that's that's what the plan is. So what it, maybe I am, am over anticipating a problem. And since you're going to go curb to curb, it won't be a patch here, a patch there, or a strip down that's patched. So maybe that will make it more resilient because it's it will it, it's from curb to curb. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, that's that's exactly why we're going curb to curb because we don't want to leave so many patches in the road. Okay. Janet, are you listening? No. Okay. Um, I just know when they repaved Norma, they did it, the quality repaving probably 12 years ago, and it, it, it you know, has made all the difference. And I hate to see tyranny tear that is still in good condition now start deteriorating in the years, and it's going to take us, you know, whatever to have it constantly fixed. But I know the sewer line needs to be replaced. Um, so, I mean, 
just had the questions and I appreciate your answers. Sure. Okay, Walter, we have a couple of questions in chat. Uh, Josh wants to know when roads are dug up for the project, will they be patched or will they be relayed? You've kind of answered that. Uh, he said living on Grandview slash Hightower, the roads are bad already with potholes, patches, perhaps wishful thinking. So he's asking about Grandview Hightower. Okay, um, we are, we're doing the, the sewer lines that are in the backyards and these sewer lines connect to, to uh, Weiler and other streets, but we aren't going into those streets at this time because we don't want to repave the street the way we're doing Tierney. And then that doesn't mean repave it as in asphalt, but because the street needs to be redone, if we did it now, we would have to patch it. So we aren't replacing those sewer lines at this time. And at some point they'll become part of the CIP project and we'll do the sewer lines then. But other than Tierney, any street that we would have to get into at all, it would just be a patch. Okay. Uh, Walter, I unmuted Janet Kennedy. Janet, did you want to say anything in response to Cindy's questions? I was just going to say that, that Tierney really needs to be concrete because it's a high traffic road and it turns into a goat path shortly after every time he repaved it needs to be completely regraded from Meadowbrook to East Lancaster and rebuilt. It's it's a real mess because you've dug it up so many times for water leaks and sewer leaks. Okay. Well, that, that's part of the reason why we're replacing the lines is to get the water and sewer in good shape so we don't have to dig it up again. Yeah, I that's know, but, but, you know, if you, redo it with concrete and put sufficient manholes or or you know utility uh, trenches in you should have that much problem with it after you replace the lines and i did you do it absolutely so who do we need to talk to so or is it even possible to talk to someone change your plan from asphalt to concrete because Janet and I live right here. And then the other gentleman asking the same questions. Um, at least we have concrete now and you're going to give us a diminished um, street when you're done. Well, the, the plan now, the reason we're re paving it curb to curb is because we're going to have so many cuts in the road that we didn't want to patch it. Okay. So well, I understand that we're just, we're arguing over the material being used, not the fact that the road's going to be completely redone. We would like to have a superior material. If, However, the concrete job you did on Norma Street in front of my house is falling apart, but that's been about 18, 20 years ago, you did that. Didn't hold up very well. Yeah, well, like I said, this is a, a sewer rehab project, and we can talk, and you're welcome to talk with Transportation and Public Works about adding it to a CIP project. Okay. But I think we'll still... Yeah, we can do that. We'll do that. Yeah. Even, even then, it it won't change what we're doing. We're not... It's not like we're wasting money or anything. The cost is not going up because of... Oh, no, no. No, we no. just want to have the pro whole project elevated to a, a better quality road because it is a high traffic road. I mean, it, it's busy all day long yeah, and I, I go up and down it several times a day. You know, there, there are no sidewalks on it and there's a lot of improvements that could be made. Well, so, I don't particularly care if there's any side. Just don't get tired of driving down at 20 miles an hour because of the dips and bumps. In fact, I was driving on it today, 20 miles an hour for the dip and something passed me and blew through the stop sign. But will you, will you at least be getting rid of those dips and bumps that Jan is referring to because you're going curve to curve and we will at least have a, a smooth surface? Well, we're not going to change the grade of the road. We're going to match the curves as they are now. Yeah, but we'll smooth but out the road between them. You're not going to put yeah, we'll get the bottom of right there at Morris again. <laughs> yeah, if you want to make those type of changes, it needs to be a CIP project. 
Okay. But more of the bottoms of are if you go yeah. too fast. Yeah, that's not the kind of work we're doing right now. Now that's from a previous water main break. You know, when you repatch the water main, it subsided. Yeah. We might we might be able to you know if it was originally smooth, we can return it back to the original grade. And that's what that's what we want you to do. Okay. Will you commit to us? Yeah, we want to grade it. <laughs> yeah, we want you to make it smooth grade, okay? Okay. You're wonderful. I'll call you if you don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Walter, we have Thank a couple you. more questions in chat. Okay. Uh, Christy Graham says, my property is the U store. It is located at Lancaster and the back of my property is off Weiler Road. It's my understanding that the so-called alleyway we have fenced in. Do you know when the work will start? Due to my customer access to their storage, I'm also concerned on how you will access. We do not have an entrance at that Weiler Road. So she's concerned about the access to their business for their customers and for themselves. What's her, what's her address, I wonder? Uh, located at Lancaster and the back of the property is off of Weiler and it is the U, the letter U store. Christy, oh, do you U want store. To okay, the storage place, okay. We, uh, we only have a little bit of work at the, the storage facility. And uh, I don't know if you can see my cursor or not, but that's right in here. Yes. So Christy, we. I'm well, unmuted you. you. So we'll we'll cross into the back of your property, but we shouldn't be blocking the entrance. Christy, Christy, do you have any more questions? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, another uh, question is from Julie Ledford. Julie Ledford. She wants to know, will this project impact Tierney Court South? I don't think so. I don't even know where Tierney Court is. Tierney Court is north of Meadowbrook Drive, about three quarters of a mile. No, we're not crossing Meadowbrook. Julie, did you have any other questions? Well, uh, yeah, Tierney Court South is north of uh, Meadowbrook. And if I understand correctly, it's not none of the different uh, issues in the project are gonna impact those courts. That's correct. We're not working on the north side of Meadowbrook Drive. Okay, thank you. Does anybody else have any questions for the chat? I'm going to unmute everyone who is a call in user. So I'm going to, you're not going to know it's you. So I just unmuted call in user three. Let us know if you have a question. Okay, call in user four. Do you have a question? Call in user five. You're also unmuted. Do you have a question? I don't see any other questions in the chat. We'll give you a couple more seconds if you've got something. Okay, uh, Walter, can you go back to the slide that has your contact information on it? Okay, for anyone okay. who has questions after this meeting, uh, you can call either Walter, who's your project manager, Matthew Wilson is your inspector. He'll be the one out in the field with the uh, construction crews. 
Again, if you ever have an, a, an emergency, a water main break, you think your sewer's backing up, that is a 24 hour number, um, 817-392-4477, select option one. Uh, you can always email us. What we'll do is this is being recorded. It'll uh, be turned into a YouTube video and added to the project page on the city website. I also have a summary of the meeting with some, you know, generally asked questions that you might not have asked tonight. If you are a uh, board member of any of the neighborhood associations in this area, I'll send that video link to you as well as the summary. And that probably won't be until Monday. Let's see if anyone else asked any questions. Okay. It's good. It's good. No more? I'm good. I, I look forward to good. getting it on um, the summary and uh, this is, it seems like we have a good crew on it and I appreciate y'all taking the time to inform us. Cindy, which association are you with? I'm the president of Central and okay. Janet Kennedy is also on the board of Central. Okay, great. Uh, yeah. Give me till Monday to get that video link to you. I'll try to send it all at the same time. Thank you so can much, guys. Can I, can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I live on uh, Tyranny Road, so I just tried to log in. I couldn't get all the information. So is there any way I can get the uh, summary as well? Yes. Um, we, can you put your email address in chat? Um, or, okay, can you see the screen? No, I cannot. Oh, you're calling in? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, just just call me. Call me and I can get your contact information. Okay, okay, Carl Walter, his number is 817-392-5026. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, and that's Walter? And he'll, yes, he'll get it to me and uh, we'll get that sent out hopefully by Monday. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Anybody else? Thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.